Hey guys, it's MJ and you know, it's hard to believe today is the first day of spring. Um, with everything going on in the world, with the coronavirus, it's just, I mean, if there's anything I guess to look forward to is that the days are gonna be getting warmer and perhaps getting outside, um, even if we can't, you know, be with friends and family as closely as we once were, at least maybe we can get outside and share some some togetherness in nature. So let's get started with, you know, and I know a lot of you are probably experiencing just an immense amount of stress and not knowing what to do next or not knowing, um, you know, uh, if your job is going to be secure or, you know, if you're, if you're, aging relatives, you know, I'm sure you're worried about them. My mom is in a, um, a nursing home in Boston. She has MS, so I, I worry about her. Um, so I know that, you know, a lot of a lot of us have other things on our minds besides, um, you know, the coronavirus itself, you know, keeping ourselves healthy. We have other people that we're thinking about. And we, you know, whether that be providing for our families or making sure our friends and family are safe. So I'm doing these readings mainly as um, a way to help me as well as <laughs> it's kind of selfish in that respect. Um, but also I know that there's probably a lot of you who are home and can't get out. And if I can provide you with 10 minutes of entertainment maybe a little bit of hope, um, then I feel like I'm doing doing what I'm put on this planet to do. So let's get started, shall we? The first card is that energy that we are working with today. This is the energy that is available to us. It does not practice social distancing. <laughs> it comes right on into our homes, into our lives. Oops. And that was not a good shuffle. And it is, it is present if we want to experience it sometimes depending on the kind of energy it is very uh intrusive you know it just it just does what it wants it's like cartman that way it does what it what it wants so let's see what we have starting us off and we have the high priestess so right now we are in this moment of you know connecting with our higher self of finding the goddess within however that looks for you if you're you know it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman this is that inner goddess that that feeling of being completely in touch with your your higher self with nature with the world around you you are capable of sensing the emotions of others and feeling deeply how you you your presence in this world impacts others and how others impact you. And there's just this beautiful relationship there with ourself and spirit. So here we are, we're in this presence of the high priestess. This is a time to go deep, kind of like how we had that hermit energy yesterday. This is a time to connect with that, that part of yourself that knows all the answers that knows what signs are out there waiting for you to discover them. It's like, it, it's the direction as far as like where to point that flashlight that you hold in your hand so you can find your way through the darkness. And so here, this beautiful energy of the high priestess is available to you, to me, to everyone around us, right? It's there. So if we tap into it, we're going to get that download. We're going to get that inspiration. We're going to get that connection that maybe we're all craving for as well to connect with other people on a different level, not just a physical level. This is an emotional, a, a mental level, right? This is where we can feel um, the feel what other people are feeling. You know, sense what other people are, are sensing. You know, this is a, a time where you can use your magic perhaps and. Uh, connect with somebody who you haven't spoken with in a long time. You know, maybe send them a mental image of yourself, you know, wanting to reach out to them. This is a time to use that power. And so right now with everything going on and we're hibernating, you know, practicing a little bit of, of that high priestess energy may just be 
the pick-me-up that we need right now, you know? So let's see what the wise dog brings to today's reading. And this is the energy that's coming to us. So if you think about it like a weather forecast, this is what is coming to us as a result of using that high priestess energy. What are we going to connect with? What visions are we going to get? You know, this is a time for you to perhaps use that, that psychic power that you have so that you can get some insight as to where you should be going, what you should be doing. There's a new path for you. Oops, wow, those dogs, like literally, it's like the whole kennel came out, okay? Let's... What signs are you picking up on? You know, the high priestess is here. She's sending you signs. Are you are you picking up what she's putting down? And here we have the five of swords. And, you know, in this case, I wonder, you know, if there's some trepidation about... Uh, going for something if there's some fear around you know if you if you do go for for an idea if you do go after something are you going to be perceived perhaps as being um opportunistic you know are you being uh, seen as uh being selfish maybe you know if um if all of your friends are in you know, one particular mindset and you decide you want to shift into a new direction, do they see you as kind of, you know, setting yourself apart in a, in a way that um, they're, they're not happy to accept? You know, I kind of, that's like what I get here with this five of swords. So there may be some fear around pursuing something because there's that energy lingering in the air that anything that you do may be um, off-putting. It may be perceived as being, um, you know, not a team player, maybe. Like, maybe you're ready to go out on your own and um, expect other people to do their thing. I mean, like, there's definitely social distancing here <laughs> with this Five of Swords. And so, you know, actually, like, this is going to sound horrible, but this what this card kind of reminds me of here is that person who's hoarding all the toilet paper, you know? <laughs> it's that person who um, is, is so fearful of what's going to happen that they have to take everything for themselves, right? They're like, they're, they're putting, you know, 10 things of hand sanitizer in their cart and, you know, all the toilet paper and all the, the baby wipes and all the rice and all the beans, you know, it's like they're, they're taking everything. And that may be this energy that like is making itself very, very alluring to people right now. This may be the energy that is coming in and saying, hey, you know what you need to do right now is panic and, and stock up. And it's, it's, it's you know, a, a dog eat dog world out there, literally here with this wise dog. You know, it's, it's, um, it's all too easy to slip into that. So I feel like with the high priestess sitting here, you know, you are gonna get some information. You are gonna feel some, um, some input come in through you know through spirit and i feel like it's going to hopefully help you resist the urge that's coming towards us this five of swords is coming to us and i think as things progress right now it's going to be a very easy energy to slip into but hang on to the high priestess because she's going to help you navigate your way through this energy. She's not going to leave you. She stays with us throughout. So let's see what the Grimalkin deck brings. And then I can get a clear picture of what these 
what these critters are trying to tell us. So I just got back from a walk with, with Layla and my hands are still cold. <laughs> it's hard to believe it. It's going to be almost 60 today here in Seattle. But in the morning, it is very frosty. So let's... mind this is the deck that I cut. The professional <laughs> printers did not cut this deck. I did, so keep that in mind. Some of the edges aren't perfect. So we have the Eight of Wands that is, you know, opening up a channel for us. It's opening up action here that we can take we can we can move forward we can take um take solace in the fact that things will progress quickly hopefully in a positive way you know that we can get through this and we can all return to normal things are going to change um and the thing is i think what's happening here is that the question um, i'm getting is are you are you able to adapt can you change quickly? Can you shift your mindset? Can you get a clear vision, perhaps for where you want to go in the event that things are not going to return to normal? Um, you know, that's, that's like the, the thing here, isn't it, right? I mean, what is it going to look like next year at this time? there's so much uncertainty right now. What is it going to look like, you know, six weeks from this time? We still don't know. So the, the message I'm getting here with this eight of wands is be ready for anything. Be ready to move quickly. You're going to feel that power come through you. You're going to feel like a wind picking you up, but you're going to have to be able to create that vision in your head for where you want to go so that you can utilize these these ones to your to your advantage right now again i feel like if anything if if ever there was a hiccup right now it's going to be with that five of swords and it's going to be difficult to resist that urge of being out for yourself especially if things start to progress in a negative way you know the call here is really to um I mean, for everyone, right, is to try at your best to resist this energy. Try not to slip into that state of panic where it's all about you, where you're trying to um, take all the resources, right? You're trying to like hoard everything so that you come out on top. It doesn't ever play out in a positive way when we do that. So with this eight of wands here, again, you know, it's like, I feel like if anything, like when I'm looking at these cards, I get the sense of uncertainty just looking at them. I get that we are connected. I get that we have this ability to tap into the emotions and the feelings and are sensitive to the world around us. We have, we all have that power, right? I mean, I would like to think that we can all look at each other from a place of understanding and in that you know we are connected even if we are social distancing and so when i see this high priestess i don't see us necessarily being secretive or being um you know um you know yeah or being you know just you know being um dismissive of other people if anything i feel like we can use her power for good and and not kind of isolate ourselves or not keep keep our 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 thoughts inward necessarily but rather extend kindness and compassion outward and use use that um that power of spirit to tap into the greater collective so you know that could be the problem here too is if we are if we do if we do 
fall into the negative traits of the high priestess. You know, if we do go inward too deep, you know, if we do hide ourselves too far away, you know, if we're, if we're being overly discreet, perhaps, you know, um, it can lead to this energy of the five of swords, but I don't, I don't see that with this. I see that, you know, I see her energy as being much more positive and helping people. The signs are there with her. So we just have to find them. Again, this energy is gonna be very easy to slip into. So try your best to pull out the positive energy of the high priestess. Reject that need for secrecy. And really do your best to let go of this five of swords. Just, you know, acknowledge it, recognize that energy when it's present, because that's going to help you as well. I feel like, um, move swiftly because if you, if you, um, don't recognize when we're in this state of be a panic or anxiety, you know, when we're like feeling a sense of lack. So we want to like take all of, take everything from, from everyone else. Um, I feel like that is where we're going to find ourselves in a pickle. So let, let this energy go. Like we've got, to, we accept it, recognize it. Like when you start grabbing for, you know, the, the second batch of toilet paper, ask yourself, do I really need this? Or am I taking it away from somebody else? Right. Am I, am I trying to control, um, the situation here to the point where I, you know, so that I come out on top. Um, but just know things are going to progress quickly. They will. And when we move forward, we have a creative vision for where we want to go. That's going to help us. That's going to help us overcome the obstacles that are sure, sure around the corner here um, as we move from spring into summer. So um, much love, much, much love to all of you. And um, I hope this reading makes sense. Oh, I think I need to have some matcha. I'll see you. Bye. Peace.